Mehmet Oichu, uh, this recalibration uh, that we're talking about, what does it mean for Syria and uh, not just for ISIS, but for Syria as a whole? Well, I think the Syria's future is still uncertain, no matter whatever we do. ISIS will be there, and because it's not only a terrorist organization, as we know, which we want to eradicate altogether, but they control an area significantly reduced now, but still about eight, nine million people and as big as the uh, United Kingdom in terms of territory, although they lost almost 40 percent of the territory they hold. So people living in these territories also suffer a great deal from ISIS. So we have to find a solution to that because this is the root cause of the problems. ISIS today, we can eradicate it and another group might come. Therefore, we have to address the root causes of the troubles, sufferings in this region. And therefore, the future of Syria, it seems that will not be left to Syrians. The Iranians are there, Iraqis are there, Americans coming from thousands of miles away, Russians also flocked in. It's the next door neighbor to Turkey, God's sake. And therefore, the future of Syria, how it's going to be uh, drawn, and whether it's going to be a three-state, three-mini-state, or loose uh, federation or uh, failed state for the next 15, 20 years, it's not certain yet. And in the new, uh, I mean, also when Turkey signed this reconciliation with Israel, Prime Minister Netanyahu said that this might also herald a new era in which the architecture of the Middle East could be uh, redrawn. Therefore, there is a need to not small fixes in the region, but the big picture, what is the vision that you want that will address the aspirations of the local people, but also big powers and regional powers reconciling their differences? Because it's going to affect all of us, not only as terrorism lingering on for decades to come, but also the other sufferings in the region. And it's a very positive step that Ankara realized its weakness and it's also adventurous foreign policy failing and recalibrating. As a result, we hope that with Egypt we will have a similar reconciliation so that the countries in the region could sit down together 